time for us to engage some of our favorite people in the creative arts industry. Uh, we're checking out how they are surviving under lockdown. Uncle Ebo White is joining me. Chief Momen is joining me. Obi Amponsa and Nana Jesse, my quiz master, is also joining. Uh, so we're joining via Zoom and Skype. Good morning to all of you. Hi, good morning. Hi. Hi. Good morning. My, great. My favorite uncle, Ebo White, how are you doing under lockdown? Well, I'm doing good. And you? What about you? Oh, I'm surviving. Uh, apparently, I'm an essential worker, so I come out every day. No, you are indeed an essential <laughs> worker. And thanks, thanks for coming out. Yeah. And, oh, and um, our gratitude also to people like um, Dr. Ankama, um, who are holding the fort for us. Mm. Yeah. Obi Amponsa, I see you. I don't see you. Are you there? <laughs> OK, not quite. But Chief Moment, do I have you? Yes, you have me. Um, good morning, Chief. Of course, good morning to Uncle Ebo White. Great. Do you have a... Uh, Chief, uh, good morning. <laughs> are, um, are you working on something yeah. new under lockdown? Oh, yes, absolutely. In terms of the creative uh, lockdown, providers an opportunity to concentrate on content. Mm. It's just the business that is a bit of a disaster. Yeah, I can understand. Nana, Jesse, can you, can you hear me? Are you live with me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Hey, Masa, but where are you going? Are you not indoors? Oh, oh um, I am. <laughs> I am sort of indoors, but not indoors, you know. Okay, <laughs> I see you. Yes. Thanks but for I joining us. Good morning to Uncle Ebo and um, Chief Mumu. Uh, good well. morning, Nana. Okay, Uncle Ebo. First of all, I want to say thank you for allowing us to share your lessons. Or, uh, on relationships under lockdown. Uh, but I also have to ask, what's new with you? How have you been managing? Are you cooking something new? Well, uh, Mamavi, thank you. The, you must know that for people like, uh, crazy people like us, this lockdown is God's stand. It, uh, it gives us um, formal and legal um, excuse for being anti so and um, so we can work. So we're making the most of it. So mm. um, yes, um, we work, I'm working on quite a lot of projects and I'm hoping that by the end of this week, a number of them will begin to come out. Okay. But this must certainly be a blow uh, because you had quite a number of things line up. Essentially, I'm asking, has this whole lockdown affected your calendar in any way? Absolutely. I mean, everything has come to a standstill, hasn't it? Um, no productions. We, we had just, just before the um, lockdown, we had a three-city tour planned um, with a sponsor already on board. And now all that is, um, is, 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 is on hold. Mm. Um, we're not too sure what kind of world we'll be living in post-COVID-19. Um, but we're hoping that um, we'll be able to pick our lives up. But for now, um, nothing is happening. Yeah. Let me engage Obi and Ponsa because I see you now. What's up, man? Obi, can you hear me? Apparently not. We're going to work on that uh, sound. But let me, let me ask uh, Chief Moman. Um, Chief, for, for a person like you who, you know, is into poetry uh, and also writes in plays, uh, what does a moment like this, this kind of opportunity, what does it give to you? Are you working on things related to what we're experiencing today or you're just dreaming wilder than what we're doing? Well, I'm working on a few projects. In fact, you know that the whole of last year a break from my theater product so after years of stress and also because i had gone back to school so this year we're just coming up to come back into the space uh to stay the production sometime in the year fortunately that has been waiting for that makes it over for us to see what is realistic to do in terms of my career as a spoken word obviously there are no effects uh there are no effects Profit. We had already been lined up to one of the performers and proof, and all either been cancelled or flipped. 
So in terms of my poetry career, that hasn't that has also been on the fact that however from the writing perspective, as Anthony Popeye she said, it has been thoroughly brilliant. And when people ask me how is the break that uh, the, the lockdown going, I tell them that writers, I mean, we're already used to lockdown. And they have to create a particular piece. You usually like to be high school and concentrate. So in terms of the creativity, you have to work on a few projects that I had put on hold for a while, actually. Mm. But I started thinking about that. So I've been writing vigorously, I believe that we should lock down at least we we'll have some materials that if you want to use something with can straight we can straight away jump to it. Mm. Um Nana Jesse, one of the things one of the things that we wanted to check when we came up, you know, with this conversation was how people like you, how actors and creative people are surviving, knowing that you know you have to you ha you have to be featured to make money. So I have to ask you that question first. How are you surviving? Um, personally, um, I think what, what we try to do, when I say we, uh, myself and Yeza Legacy, um, we always try to uh, be ahead of the curve. So uh, we, we had a few productions that we had already recorded, uh, pre-recorded, um, almost a season or two seasons worth of you know, production that we've already done. So um, about that, I think we're sorted. Um, so we always try to be ahead of the curve. Mm. But uh, in response to the, this particular pandemic, uh, what actually happened is that um, we are now trying to use technology in a different way. We're also trying to tell stories in a different way um, because right now there's so many ways you can, um, you can do things. Um, this pandemic has actually forced us to stop uh, doing things the regular way. So we have to start thinking differently and do do different things. Um, as, as 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 we speak right now, we're trying to bring uh, back um, um, KJTL versus Mokola in a digital uh, form. Uh, we're okay. bringing on the best comedians, you know, uh, and some of the best actors. Just bring them on, and then you know, create something with this particular um, uh, pandemic and this particular situation we find ourselves. Okay, and all these things you're talking about, this is virtual, bringing pe people together virtually. Yes, virtually. Uh, we're bringing people together virtually. And um, in as much as uh, this pandemic is causing what it's causing, I believe it's also forcing us creatives to, you know, think beyond the box, you know, outside of the box and do something different mm. so that we don't um, sit on our oars and then say that, oh, Charlie, um, we, we can't do anything about it. We have to create still. We have to get to the people somehow. Yeah. Uh, and, and on that note, Anne Kleber White, you've been doing a lot of virtual things uh, even before COVID-19, but I see that you're hanging out a lot more with people. The last one I checked was uh, Reggie Rockstone and, and his wife uh, that you hanged out with. Yes. What, what, what is COVID forcing you to do? Sleep a little bit more. Uh -huh. I think that the people in my house are the happiest because they see me much more now than mm. before. Um, but in terms of um, the work, um, I divide my work into two. I am a writer, and that is a very different um, lifestyle altogether. Mm. And that one is flourishing and prospering under this, um, the lockdown. And then there's my work as the CEO of Roverman Productions, and that's a different um, life altogether. And that is totally on, on, a, on, a, on a standstill, it's on suspension. Mm. You know, Mama V, the challenge with this, um, and I, I hear what Nana JC and Co are saying, but the challenge really is that because none of us can tell how long this lockdown is going to be, and because we cannot tell um, what what um so it makes even planning um, a little bit more difficult mm. but we'll take it one day at a time for now every day that um i wake up i am just grateful to be alive i check on um my staff i check on members of my group um they're struggling because these are very active people mm. um but um this too shall pass, so we can yeah. endure it but actually for, for for a person like you also employs others uh, you know, within a period like this, uh, what's going to happen? Is there 
uh, a master plan? Is there a plan B? Because nobody saw this coming. Uh, yes. How are you managing the situation? Well, for now, I am just happy that my staff are alive um, and that we can keep going from day to day. I'm just interested in knowing whether they have enough food um, at home, whether they are obeying the stay-at-home um, strategy. Mm. And sometimes I think that Ghanaians take um, what we've been through lightly, and we shouldn't do that. Um, I like the campaign that the, the governor of New York, um, Andrew Cuomo, um, launched about a week ago, which, and he says, always ask yourself, who am I staying home for? So I stay home for. I stay home for mother. I stay home for the children. I stay home. And if people did that, I think we would all um, hasten um, the victory over mm. this. But for as a CEO, as an employer, I am just happy my staff are, are well. Mm. I'm happy that none of them is in trouble with this um, virus. Mm. And I'll continue to look out for ways in which I can make their lives as comfortable as I can, because that is the duty I owe them. Absolutely. Obi Amponsa, hopefully we can hear you now. Uh, good morning to you again. Hello, Obi. Hi. Oh, finally. Finally. Yeah, were you just joking or this was for real? No, this was for real. I don't <laughs> know. It was, I think uh, it was the connection. <laughs> I went into my car, but I wasn't working and stuff. But I think it's, is it better now? Yeah, it's, it's better because you're on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand your car is called Chumwa. Is that yeah, it? Yeah, Hyundai, Hyundai Chumwa. Hyundai Hyundai Hyundai. <laughs> so for you as a comedian, uh, how is this period like for you? This period, you mean the pandemic period and the lockdown period? Yes, Obi. Yeah, it's quite tough for me though. Uh, as you can see, I'm confined indoors. Uh, I've had I've had gigs that have been cancelled. Mm. I've had shows that anticipated to be on that uh, we had to call off because of this uh, uh, pandemic. Actually, uh, I should have been in uh, the United no UK is the United Kingdom. Yeah, the United Kingdom playing a show, mm. uh, but it had to be called off because of the uh, pandemic. So yeah. I've been affected. Immensely, mm. immensely, I've been affected. But uh, we just pray that this thing goes away soon. Yeah. I want us to uh, talk about the industry as a whole, uh, the kind of damage that COVID-19 uh, will have on the industry. And I want to start that with you, uh, Chief Moment. Um, because if you look at tourism, for yeah. instance, everything, everything is just shut. Everything has slowed down. There are hotels that are laying off workers obviously because nobody is coming in and you can't keep people and pay them when you're not making any money for this particular industry because uh, they had even slowed down with with the place it, it had just picked up people were yep. falling in yep. love and yep. and patronizing and now we've come to this point what kind of damage do you see in the long term uh, that yep. COVID will have on the industry Well, I mean, you know, already the art space in this country is not exceedingly lucrative. So a lot of artists, you know, are barely scraping a living, and, you know, and uh, we are doing our best. Let's scrape it hand to mouth, you know, depending on what we do. doing. Considering that we are almost looking at a couple of months, uh, you know, revenues died out, and the aftermath of this is because now companies have been squeezed. We would want to assume that even after COVID, because of the effects of the pandemic on their businesses, they are enthusiastic, you know, to sponsor, you know, artistic programs and activities. So definitely, the effects would test even after this pandemic. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to make this point because recently, the Mastercard Foundation, I think, has made an available a ninety million dollar package, you know, to scale business. You know, usually in a part of the world, when we are thinking about business, we are not thinking about the creative, but we are an integral part of the company who are actually a lot. So I hope that in terms of the criteria for assessing these funds, there will be a criteria 
but he would, you know, the art or the creative art industry or playwrights, you know, produce some content. People like, you know, my friend Opiam. So all of us would at least be able to apply and have access because I believe we are one of the who will be affected. You know that in times of crisis, when people are cutting budget, one of the first things they have is probably the creative entertainment accessing budget. So in terms of people affected, but lastly, there's several lines, several lines that people have been, you know, more or less like indoors for weeks. It's, it's not a plan is lifted. There will be, uh, you know, an exuberant explore the album, go to the show, go to the um, go activities. So that they actually try or an increase in audience, you know, to organize. So that's silver lining, right? So some that there are mechanisms in access also some trees. We learned that in Kenya, for example, the government to make available go to UK, Germany, you know, as are trying to see how up as here. Mm. I am yet to get any, you know, Okay, and I so, hope that something will happen in Okay, so I, I, I see you're thinking about the stimulus. Uh, let me ask Nana Jesse to also have a bite on this. Nana Jesse, what's your take in terms of the effect on the industry? Um, I think I think it's it's going to have the very direct effect on, on the economy, like um, uh, Chief Moomin said. Uh, because, you know, we, we barely even have an industry. You're talking about the movie and um, the comedy industry we barely even have an industry so this thing coming in is is going to really hurt um our little uh, industry that we have but just like uh, Moomin also said you know there's there's a silver lining and then we're hoping that we take advantage of this particular um uh, pandemic because we for instance we do things over the internet and um you know it is something that we're hoping that we are going to um, take advantage of mm. because now people are at home. People would be, you know, going on the internet a lot more. People will be, uh, you know, going to YouTube, um, all these platforms. So if we can find a way of, you know, providing content for them, um, mm. we can also, you know, get their attention right now. And yeah. after the whole lockdown is done, I'm sure there'll be a scram for, for a lot more production uh, uh, from, from us. Okay. I, Uncle White, I don't know what you think uh, of that. After the lockdown, people will be yearning uh, for, for the creatives. Is that what we should expect? Well, my, my view, right now, not, no, none of us can um, tell because we do not know how long this is going to be. We do not know in what, um, what uh, um, turn it is going to take. Mm. If, for instance, the lockdown is lifted as um, at the end of this week, um, then we could quickly come back um, to what we used to know as normal. Mm. But if it is extended and it keeps going, the point is that much as people may want to come out um, when it is all over, the, the problem will be whether they, they would have the money to come out. Mm. Unless um, we're going to do free shows. If we're going to do free shows, it would be, it would be packed. But the problem will be, will people have enough money on them mm. um, when the lockdown is over? We we only hoping and praying that it will not, it will be, it will be over sooner than later. Mm. Um, and the sooner it is, the better for not just the creative industry, but for everyone, for everyone else. Yeah, Uncle, Bo, I'll come back to you on your take on the stimulus package and whether or not the industry deserves if there's a, a window of opportunity how do we take advantage of that but obi and ponsa let's hear you on the impacts of this on the industry yeah i i think they said almost everything we are going to suffer quite a hit uh, on the creative arts industry because um most of the money we get most of uh, people patronize our shows by their as well put it their extra as uh, Money from the yeah. I don't know how they put it. Yeah. They, oh, so it's, it's entertainment. You think we use the extras in patronizing exactly. your performance? Exactly. Okay. And now you are indoors, so you are you are exhausting your extra disposable so income. Once the disposable. lockdown is over, mm -hmm. it's going to be quite a while before we have people patronizing our shows. Mm. And 
there's that stigma also with the social distancing stuff. So it will take a while for people to agree that now we are fine, we can come together and mm -hmm. then laugh mm -hmm. at comedy shows. So yeah. after, uh, after, by the time this whole thing is over, it's going to be quite a curve, a turning curve for us in this industry. I just hope that we are able to meet uh, our audience at a point where we all agree and then we, we move on from where we have started. Because mm -hmm. this, year, this year was quite a vibrant year for the comedy industry and we're, we're all up in arms and then going out. But uh, this uh, had a... Yeah. But Obi, are you able to put what you do? Are you able to sell on, on uh, digital as well? Are you able to do the YouTube and yeah, other channels so, and make some so, money from it? So what, what, we are, what I am trying to do now is to make use of the digital platform because now everybody is on their phone. Everybody is looking on their phone, either phone or TV. Mm. So, uh, and we have YouTube. When you monetize YouTube, they pay something small, not, not that much for like uh, if you held a live comedy show mm. and then people came, paid and came to watch you. But, I mean, it's quite, uh, it, 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 it sustains us for a while. And now there are other digital platforms that uh, we have only fans, we have um, Patreon, we have Kofi, Kofi K or something. There are digital platforms that when people are watching you perform live and they feel like they should contribute to that, they mm. pay to that. So um, looking at this thing lasting for a longer while, we may need to resort to this platform so that uh, we entertain people and in as much as we do entertain them, be able to at least get some revenue mm. during those periods. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Uncle Bo, you take on call to, uh, you know, digital already. Uh, but, yes. But are you yes. making money from those platforms? No, um, we haven't uh, monetized Anchor yet. Okay. So I wanted to ask all of you about the stimulus package. I'll start with you, Uncle Bo White. Uh, it, it, you know, we, when we know the moda modalities, would it be one that you want to tap into, seeing as all of us are suffering under this whole uh, lockdown? Oh, yes. As, as, as soon as we know the modalities and we know we can qualify and how we can qualify, mm. I think we'll be first in line um, because <laughs> um, nobody is spared in, this, mm. in these times. Nobody um, is um, immune to it. So it will come in handy. You asked an earlier question, do we deserve it? I don't think that anyone can say we deserve it. But would it be helpful and useful? Absolutely. It will, it will um, shorten the period in which the creative arts can help us get back to normalcy. Now, everybody's talking about we getting back to normal, normal and things like that. What they don't realize is that that would depend on how quickly the creative oh, arts um, mm gets back to life again mm. and wakes up after this whole thing mm. because that is what defines our normalcy and so um, i'm only hoping that it will be sooner um, that we would be able to bounce back um, but one way or the other i think that those of us in the creative space um, would one way or the other find a way of somehow serving our generation and our communities yeah now, I just also, is this uh, the stimulus package? Is it one that you're also considering, if it's available? Um, yes, I mean, why not? I mean, if it's available and we qualify for it, why not? I think, I think everybody deserves, um, you know, a, a bit of it because we're all going through this um, together. And uh, no one is going to say that, oh, I'm, I'm the one who benefited from this or most or, or whatever. And w one thing that I also want to talk about is, you know, um, the, the, after this whole thing is done, there's one thing that we, we might take for granted, that is the mental health of people. And that is where, you know, we the creatives come in. Mm -hmm. I mean, through this uh, period, I mean, it's the creatives who are going to keep people entertained, who are going to keep people sane and, and, and whatnot, because this is not an easy period for anybody. So after this, I mean, it's, it's important that, you know, the creatives are actually considered and then given something so we can you know bring people back to life mm. because this is more like a mental thing yeah i feel you on that chief moment yes uh, absolutely i mean let me just take it from where nana jesse has left off without imagine how this pandemic would have been without the creative industry you know people would have been bought sick and almost run insane 
But at least people are able to survive, you know, by going onto Facebook and YouTube and watching movies, listening to music, and especially consuming comedy skits. Mm. So that should tell you the important role that, you know, give us playing to stay. And post pandemic, post COVID, the creative arts will also have an crucial role to play in other resuscitate people to bring, as Uncle Bo, I said, we will be the ones to you know, bring back the country, the minds of people to normalcy so that you are able to put the enthusiasm mm. work and interactive. I guess my point that I want to stress about the smallest package that when the appropriate authorities sit down to fashion out studies and criteria for education, they must necessarily put that creative art industry. Mm. Usually what we have seen in a lot of these grants and you know things that are out that usually there's nothing that shows that the creative art is legit, you know, it's usually manufacturing. So we are saying that they should consider the creative art industry mm. and make sure that at least they do the same franchise side, the side <laughs> Yeah. So to speak, yeah. But essentially, they have to make sure that they, they, they capture it. Great. What's your take on this, Obi? If the stimulus package, uh, forgive me, but I, I sincerely don't know what the stimulus what, what is. It? <laughs> okay, so you know, we've all watched uh, the finance, finance minister go to parliament uh, to try and get some money approved so that uh, uh, you, people, businesses, uh, small business owners can get some relief. Okay. So, this is essentially the relief, and I'm asking. If the industry deserves some relief as well, if it is made available and you know how, is it something that you'd be interested in tapping into? Yeah, very much. Yeah, <laughs> we, we would be interested in tapping into this stimulus package that you just explained to me. I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, we really need it. We, we, we need it to, uh, to, to make people not depressed during this time. Mm. People thought that staying at home, being alone by yourself was fun until it was it became a three week extension. And then we all realized no, we need we need some some so we need something to catalyze us in in our current state in our homes. Mm. And that is what creative art we do. That is what we do. We make you forget your worries for a while. And now Ghanaians need to forget more of these worries that we are going through. Yeah. When you put on your TV and you look at the numbers and how they are going up, you are tempted to ask yourself, why am I staying home? You understand? So more often than not, the news rather uh, cares people a bit. But when we come in to, to add some humor, to add some uh, a twist to the daily stuff you see on TV, the daily stuff you hear on radio, mm -hmm. it, it actually helps and then uh, improves people's mood. So I believe we should be a part of this um Stimulus package. I believe we, we created deserve a part of it. Okay, great. All right, so we have to end the conversation here. Just one more thing, and anybody could come in, uh, or maybe I just want to start. Uncle Lebo White, what would have been your typical routine on a Friday? Oh, by now, I'll be in the studio preparing for Uncle, um, checking with the guests we're going to have, mm. checking with the technical team to be sure that we are on, checking to see whether um, our internet connection is. Um, is um is is up up to it and so that would be what i would have been doing by now mm -hmm. i would be getting ready to go to the studio um my scripts would have been done uh, my questions prepared or my presentation prepared and and stuff like that so that that is what would have been happening mm -hmm. um today and now you're 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 on lockdown yeah now i'm on lockdown um Getting on the nerves of everybody around in the house. I think they can't wait. They can't wait for me for the <laughs> lockdown to be over so that I can get out of the house. That's right. All right um, Even though they have always wanted me to be in the house, but now, now they you're realize, too much. Uh, like Nana, like Ruby right? said, they realize it's not fun. <laughs> it's, it's not that much fun. Yeah. Okay, um, Nana Jesse, what would you have been doing? I see you're in the studio of Love FM. Yes, yes. Um, I, I mean, essential workers. Uh, we are the important ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good for you. Enjoy it, but stay safe. So, Chim <laughs> Chimumen, you're drinking something there. That's unusual around this time on a Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So no, I and stuff like that. So it's my poor. But on a on a Friday, if I didn't have any performance or meetings, I would have probably been like this, you know, okay. getting ready to go to the mock later in the afternoon. Mm. So for me, I'm okay. All but right. I'm only really worried that her and his colleagues have not been considered as, as a child. No, Chief, continue. You are saying? I'm saying I'm only worried. Yes. I'm saying that I'm just worried that Obi and Ponsa and his uh, ilk have not been categorized as a central African. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what he would be doing. Obi, if you were an essential worker, what would you be doing? I am, I am, I am an essential worker. I am an optometrist. But what happens is that on Fridays, I'm actually off. So, uh... I, I work from Monday to Thursday. So okay, no, I'm... seriously, for real, or you're just joking? What, what is for real? Oh, no, just... because I know that you stopped practicing, oh, yeah. or are you still practicing? No, I haven't, I haven't. I'm ah. a freelancer. I'm a freelance optometrist. <laughs> like, yeah, so you can call me for special services in your house when this whole thing is over, and then I'll take care of Charlie, you for yeah. drop your number. Gentlemen, I am so <laughs> grateful that you could make time and spend with us here on the AM show. Thank you, thank Uncle you, Liberwai. Thank All you. Right. God thank bless you. Thank you very you. much. Thank and you. Chief Moomin, thank you as well. Nana Jesse, thank you. Obi and Ponsa, thank, thank you. I love you thank all. You. Thank you for having us. All love right. You. You're welcome. Love and you stay too. safe. Love you. Stay safe. Thank you, Uncle Ebo. I will. Okay, so there you have it.